Okay, now the first thing about supervised classification is that we have to have training data for those and I'm working in this specific area of the Amazonian Bolivia and I'm going to collect training data and you can collect these training data on the fly. Just a small note about this particular data set. This has been imported into my script as a variable called table and this is the name and well these are the assets so th this particular data set Amazonian Bolivia is an external data set which I read into my own Google Earth engine and yes you can and on this note I can show you how you can well if you have say an external shapefile that you want to use like me or even an image so you go to the assets tab new and then you can actually upload so if I wanted to upload a shape file, I'd, I'd actually, this would be the ID, I'd give it a name and I'd upload a shape file from here and then just upload it and so on. And that's how you add external data. But anyway, back to the topic, how to add training data. We can do it on the fly. We can add training points or training polygons. I'm going to add training points. So by saying add a marker, and as soon as I do that, this one appears. This is where I'm going to create my training data. The first thing is water. I'm going to import it as feature collection because my data it needs to be imported as feature collection for it to work. LULC, that's the property name. And the first class is given the value zero. Since it's water, I can make it blue. And now I'm going to look for water. And ideas you can collect as many training data points as you like. So I say a, at least aim for a minimum of 20 per class. So you know 20 of these points that's why I'm trying to collect through points as opposed to trying to make polygons and obviously from different water sources like so. water and yes try to have the same number of points per class but that's not strictly necessary it's just you know you'll have more balanced classes that way that's just about it so yeah now I have 19 points Let's just add one more from here. Oh, actually a couple more from here. These are the geometry points and once you lock the layer that means this layer has been locked a feature collection has been created with 26 elements and then we add a new layer and again we can call it uh, you know give it a new name degraded I'm going to import this as feature collection call it LULC Make sure you get the same property every time, LULC1. Okay, 